Hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Hope that you're all really, really well. Today is your February 2015 month ahead general tarot reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, guys, all the details are down below. The link to my website is in the description bar. Okay, uh, so I'm just shuffling out any, I've just completed Scorpio. Um, okay. And I'm just shuffling out the energies from that reading. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to channel into Pisces, Universe Spirit. And just show me Pisces, please, for February 2015. Sun, moon and rising sign. Pisces, 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 sun, moon and rising signs. Pisces, 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 sun, moon and rising signs. Show me the two cards from the top, general energy. One from the bottom, the advice, information card. Show me Pisces. Eight cards in the middle to serve as the event situations for those born under Pisces. Sun, moon and rising signs. Show me Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Sun, moon and rising signs. 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 Show me what's coming up for Pisces in February 2016. Show me Pisces, 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 Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for February 2016. Show me. Okay, Pisces, I have meditated on the cards. I'm going to split the deck into three. Gather it back up. And we're going to put down two from the top. That's interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Let's have a look. <laughs> Slam it out. All right, all right. This is interesting. Looks like you're juggling two men potentially here. Ooh, what's going on, man? <sighs> what the hell is going on with you guys? You know, I've always felt uh, there are some cards within the tarot that as readers, we have difficulty defining a lot of the time. No matter how much we might try and read up on them or uh, they've just they've just got this kind of. Uh, they mean so many things and you don't quite know how to place them sometimes. Your advice card is the page of swords. The page of swords is usually messengers. OK, messages. So it's uh, it can be delayed messages. It can be disappointing news. It can also be um, aggressive language, aggressive communication, potentially. It can also represent spying or a liar or a, a deceiver, potentially. Uh, it can represent someone who's quite young, quite naive, um, quite uh, uh, has a thirst for knowledge or a thirst for education. This card represents a, a hell of a lot of stuff, the Page of Swords does. But it can also represent uh, uh, being uh, vigilant, you know, vigilant, uh, this card can. Because often this card, especially when it's on the Rider Waite uh, deck, it means uh, being cautious or being vigilant or keeping your wits about you. And I feel that you need to keep your wits about you in, in February, Pisces. I really do. We've got the Queen of Cups showing up. She is water sign. So this probably represents you guys. She usually, I think, represents the subject sign of cancer, though. But uh, this lady has her back turned to this guy on the Seven of Swords. And I don't believe that he's flicked out for no reason at all. I just don't believe that. And I don't believe the positioning of these general... The general advice has just flicked out like this okay so i just feel that you need to be aware or be vigilant uh against anyone who uh tries to pull the wool over your eyes pisces in february and i feel that it could be to do with love i am seeing two kings in this reading king of cups and also the king of wands all right and i'm seeing that you're going to need to make some sort of decision between two people because i feel that they're both offering love this is what i'm feeling here pisces okay uh, Knight of Cups is the first card to show. 
this is the card of being offered something okay it could be friendship it could be love the trouble with the knight of cups he usually represents the zodiac sign of cancer so it could literally be a cancerian it's probably another it could be another water sign that's offering love um but i feel that you're going to need to be practical about it and honest with yourself about it because uh the knight of cups is as lovely as he is and as lovely as he looks he is all about um you know, this is why I like the pentacles more than any of the other suits. I really do like the pentacles because they seem to keep uh, the, these pentacles, which are representative of Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, seem to be the most reliable of all the suits. They seem to um, be quite a faithful bunch, quite honest, uh, very down to earth, probably because they're Earth signs, very practical individuals. That's how I see the Earth signs. Whereas with the air signs or the uh, cups, I love cups because I'm a cup sign. I'm Scorpio, okay? But what I find sometimes with the cups is they can either be too deep or especially with that Knight of Cups guy, he often feels that he's in love all the time. Like he sees a girl or he sees a guy and he's like, yeah, I'm in love. So, you know, I just want to really go all out and, you know, impress this person and everything. And then, you know, it can get to a point where they kind of get bored or... If they fall out of love, they fall out of love for good. And then they just move on to the next victim or the next person. Their, their relation, their, their feelings are always idealistic, dreamy. Not always, but I find with the Knight of Cups, he used to be one of my favourite knights. Because when you see that in a reading, it's say, for example, an outcome position, it can mean you're going to be offered love or you're going to be offered. It doesn't always mean love, though. It just means... With the Knight of Cups in an outcome position, it could simply mean somebody comes over to you that has liked you for a while and starts to chat you up. That's what your Knight of Cups can mean. It doesn't have any founding in anything. It's just the emotion that's there for that particular time, a lot of the time with the Knight of Cups. So it's not it's not a Knight of Pentacles, somebody who's thought about something, something who's quite, um, they're quite certain, you know, they're quite kind of... Uh, yeah, I re I'm, I've thought about this and I've kind of played it over my head time and time again. And I'm, you know, I've assessed this person and, you know, I, I really kind of like the way that they are and, you know, everything about them. Because the pentacles to me, they comprise all of the suits. The emotion of the cups, the daring and the motivation, the passion of the wands, the thought and the cleverness of the swords. And the practicality of their own suit, the pentacles. So they have everything going for them. Which to me just makes the other suits in a way fall short of everything that the pentacles seem to have. So uh, the Knight of Cups can often just be someone who kind of says, you know, how are you doing? How, how are you enjoying the work? Or how are you enjoying this? Or how are you enjoying that? And they're looking you up and down. They're staring at you and they like this. You know, it can kind of be that type of thing. But it doesn't have to be really rooted in anything. I had a Knight of Cups bloke chat me up the once or try and talk to me the once, okay? And it was just like a little chat sort of thing. It wasn't anything. But this is classically the the, the card of being offered uh, something that is emotionally based. It could be friendship, but I don't feel it is. And I feel that you already know potentially who this person is, Pisces. But I feel that you need to be kind of not on your guard. It's not a bad reading at all. It is not. It's not a bad reading whatsoever but we you know i'm just noting that there are two guys here and there's an offer of love okay coming in and i'm noticing that in your advice card pisces it's saying that you need to be vigilant with that page of swords you need to kind of stand up for the truth and be honest with yourself more than anything else and you also might need to do some research on someone because the page of swords is often a card about education and doing research this is why the page of swords is often seen as being a spy because he's trying to find stuff out so it's almost like it's saying that you need to kind of weigh stuff up properly and find stuff out about somebody that could be interested in you or a couple of people but what i do find interesting is that behind you guys you are the queen of cups because you're water We have the guy on the Seven of Swords, and he is directly behind this Queen of Cups. Okay, but she's not noticing that there is something awry with someone. She's gone, got, I love the Queen of Cups, she's great. But, you know, often she's just so involved with her own dreaminess. It's almost like the cards are saying that uh, for February, it's the month of love, and you might get caught up in something and not see the pitfalls. And maybe this is where the Page of Swords comes in, saying you need to be vigilant. You need to be self-aware because I feel that the Page of Swords is often a card of self-awareness. 
because the page as a child is not self-aware it has to learn self-awareness that's what your page of swords has to do but it's almost like it's saying you need to be a little bit more self-aware okay so you need to do your research and you need to find out as much as you can about this person there's one person there's two people coming in could possibly be three knight of cups king of cups king of wands okay because the king of cups shows up next as well now this could be for some of you guys if you're a pisces guy watching this that maybe the knight of cups is offering you love okay potentially if this is you pisces alternatively we could just have the knight of cups that's offering love and we've got two kings here king of cups king of wands what's interesting so king of wands shows there what's interesting though is that we have the two of pentacles this shows when somebody's trying to juggle a decision they, tr they can't make head nor tail of something they're trying to keep two balls up in the air all right what we also have here as well is two queens queen of cups queen of swords so this is either way you need to balance something out in terms of your love life in february pisces or this is where somebody's juggling two relationships it's interesting it is very very interesting all right this two of pentacles can literally be someone who's juggling two relationships and it doesn't have to be that either one of the parties knows about it could potentially be that and remember we have the guy with the seven of swords there at the top and the woman queen of cups has her back turned to there's the snidiness of the guy in the seven of swords so he's playing up behind her back he's doing something behind the queen of cups back but she's not aware about it and this is why i feel the page of swords is saying self-awareness be more aware be more vigilant be more on your guard and research okay be a bit of a spy um we also have temperance showing and again the temperance card is trying to work things out okay it's trying to come to a conclusion on something it's trying to balance something put all the pieces together of something okay and that's interesting very very interesting that that card should show up here we also have the queen of swords showing up could be another figure gemini libra aquarius individual she seems to be beckoning the king of wands So we don't know whether the guy on the Seven of Swords is another kind of, uh, what's the word, incarnation of the King of Wands. The King of Wands can be a bit of a player. Whenever I've seen this card, I've seen a player in the King of Wands. If you look at him, he's draped in red, passion. Okay, he enjoys a good time. He enjoys a good drink. He enjoys lots of women. He enjoys sex. He enjoys a lot of stuff. This guy does. I don't see the King of Wands a lot of the time as being a particularly serious guy. Whenever I've seen him in a reading, it just suggests player to me a lot of the time. So it could be somebody who's literally juggling two relationships or two people. Temperance again, juggling. So there's definitely some sort of juggling going on here. And I feel that... Um, I feel that... What this is saying is this is either you guys that are going to be juggling a decision maybe on two people entering your life in the month of February Pisces or this is somebody who's already in your life who you might have your suspicions who is juggling maybe two relationships potentially for February. But there's definitely love being offered here because we've got the Knight of Cups, okay? Or something of emotional value that's being offered because we have the Knight of Cups. But it's all dreamy shit. Nothing is based in anything solid, I don't feel. And also, I just feel that you need to watch out for something because we do have that Seven of Swords, which would possibly mean that it could be somebody that's, that some of you guys are involved with could be balancing two relationships. I'm not saying that they are. So if you don't go away from this reading and think, flaming now, she said that my boyfriend could be potentially looking at another woman. If you're in a rock-solid relationship, then you're in a rock-solid relationship. Nothing should be able to kind of mess with that i'm just saying that if you have an inkling potentially then maybe this is the case for some of you guys you might be enjoying a lot of passion in february because we do have this king of wands bloke and he's very very passionate okay uh for some of you guys it might have been a case of that you've had a relationship that's been a little bit um difficult for a certain amount of time and it's telling you that you need to kind of take your guard down uh queen of swords 
if she's not another person could represent a part of who you are Pisces maybe you've put your barriers up for a certain time and maybe you're needing to kind of let those barriers down maybe with the and the, remember it's a general reading so kings and queens can be male or female it doesn't really matter within the tarot they can represent anyone so maybe for some of you Pisces as the king of cups you've not been allowing your guard to come down because the king of cups sits on a throne with water thrashing around him but he sits still and he makes no movement okay he doesn't show anything at all he has a cup but he's not he doesn't seem to be offering anything he's not offering anything of himself but somebody else is offering something to him if you look at this the knight of cups is offering something to the king of cups but whilst the king of cups holds on to his cup the knight of cups holds his cup out extended so it's almost like for some of you guys you might be holding something back in a relationship from someone maybe for some of you guys you're interested in somebody else i feel that if you're interested in someone else then the karma card shows up which shows rebirth it shows new life it shows regeneration so for some of you guys it could literally be stepping into a new relationship with someone or stepping into something new moving out of something that wasn't serving you what's interesting though is we have the seven of wands here as well showing up seven of wands is often the card of being defensive having defend it having to defend our territory um having to stand your ground with something If I go quiet as usual, Pisces, I'm really just looking at these cards and thinking to myself. For some of you guys, it could literally be that there is a newfound confidence within you in terms of relationships, potentially. For some of you guys, it could literally be as well. If this guy is a player for some of you guys, he is fighting off female attention. That seven of wands can sometimes represent a guy that is fighting off female attention. And we do have a couple of queens showing in this reading as well. And also to a pentacle, somebody who is juggling relationships or juggling something. Also, the Two of Pentacles, when I look at it, it looks like, sorry to say this, it looks like a guy who is juggling a, a girl's breasts. It sounds weird, but it does look like that. I've seen this uh, on a, I think it's uh, it's one of my tarot decks, and the girl is holding two pentacles in front of her breast like this. It's almost like she's juggling them. So sometimes this can uh, represent a sexual act, because the pentacles can often be referred to something that's earthy. So it could literally be... For some of you guys that if you're involved with someone that you're not sure about or you've got a little bit of an inkling with that they could be juggling somebody else's boobs or some <laughs> sorry or another relationship with someone because we do have that seven of wands as competition and we do have the king of wands somebody who's a player for some of you guys you might be wanting to get to the truth because the queen of swords is inviting that king of wands and she's saying give me the truth Okay, I want you to tell me something here. She wants the truth. She wants to get to the heart of the matter. So some of you guys during February will be trying to get to the heart of the matter. And potentially that's why we see the Seven of Swords behind the Queen of Cups. This guy on the Seven of Swords feels that you are sleeping, feels that you're not aware of anything, but you are aware. You are aware. Because the Page of Swords is your general information and advice card, Pisces. It's telling you, you need more self-awareness. So that's potentially what I'm seeing for February for you guys. I'm going to be doing love readings anyway. So we're going to have a look uh, potentially more in depth at situations to do with your love life uh, over the next three months or so coming in. But I do feel uh, potentially this could be uh, where either you are going to need to juggle whether you want to uh, between two people could be King of Cups and the King of Wands. One seems a little bit more solid than the other one, though. If, I, if it was up to me, I would probably go with the King of Cups rather than the King of Wands. Love is being offered, Knight of Cups. It could be you guys that are resisting love because King of Cups, Cups is our suit, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. could be you guys that are resisting love. Somebody's trying to offer it to you. You might be trying to work out whether you want it or not with that Two of Pentacles, how practical it is. 
Seven of Wands can show some kind of competition or competitive behaviour happening here. It can show unwanted attention as well. Karma sees release or liberation from a difficult situation, okay? So perhaps through self-awareness, discovery with that page of swords, some of you guys are going to be feeling quite liberated from a relationship. But I'm seeing here with this King of Wands, as I mentioned, a player, someone who's potentially weighing his options up, uh, hedging his bets with that Two of Pentacles, someone who's quite popular with the Seven of Wands. I feel, feel that he'll be intrinsic. Uh, the advice card, along with your general energy, is it's almost like it's saying watch your back for some reason with that Queen of Cups turned to the Seven of Swords. I don't know what you guys feel here, but it's almost like it's saying watch your back. You're not seeing something. And I feel that that's why the Page of Swords is telling you you need to be vigilant and you need to be more self-aware. Ask for the truth if you need to ask for it. That's your reading, guys. We'll see what happens, eh? Let me know. And it's not a bad reading at all. For some of you guys, it will be new love coming in, potentially two suitors. For some of you guys, you might already have someone that you're not too sure about. So it's telling you, if you're not too sure about it, you need to be more self-aware. Be vigilant and do your research, that type of thing. So, okay. I'm going to be doing love readings anyway for February, Pisces. So, yeah, I will speak to you guys really soon. Take care.